Hey vapers, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the Tesla Sparrow. Alright guys, yes, today's video is about the Sparrow by Tesla. It's like so teeny tiny. Look how little it is. It's a voltage-based mod too. So let's just get right into it. Dive down close. I'll show you what comes in the kit and how to work the device. Right here is the packaging that the Tesla Sparrow comes in. Open it up. There's the Tesla Sparrow mod. Underneath that we have all the goodies. We have a user's manual, a quality control card, spare o-rings, a micro usb to usb cable used for charging the 1300 milliamp hour battery, a spare glass tube with milliliters on the side, it does hold 1.2 mils of e-liquid, a spare 1.6 coil good between 10 and 15 watts, here is the tesla sparrow tank, it is a 20 millimeter diameter tank with a 510 connection, you can see this glass also has the measurement on the side. The drip tip is removable. There are airflow holes here at the bottom that can be adjusted and are on a stopper as well as on the other side. You can see it says sparrow tank around the base. To change the coil you just spin the base off and there's the coil. You can spin out the coil. This is also a 1.6 ohm coil. It is also a bottom filling tank so you have to take the bottom off and fill from the bottom which is why the max level is right here at the bottom of the glass but it's actually at the top because that's how you fill it. Alright so I got some e-liquid in there. Of course it's my Favorite winter flavor, Bonsai Vapors Summit's Kiss. This is part of their Seasons line. You can try this flavor with 20% off with my coupon code TIA20, or you can use that for any flavor on Bonsai Vapors' website. So let's take a look at the mod now. It is super tiny, and it has this plastic on it. We have the fire button, the up and down regulatory buttons. This is a voltage-based output device, so there is also more plastic. Ooh, so shiny. I love that part. Anybody else? Here on the side it does say Sparrow. At the top we do have the 510 connection on the bottom. There's the bottom. Where's the charge port? Oh, the charge port is there on the side and it does say Tesla SIGs on the side. So let's turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. Five clicks turns it on. You can see the battery indicator is up here with these and then it does tell you the voltage I don't know how well you can see it, but at the top it's 4.8, then 4.2, and 3.8. So it's adjustable between there, so you can see it goes up all the way and then back down. So we'll have it at 4.8 volts because that's the highest this little sucker goes. And it is as simple as that, as adjusting up or down like so and firing and battery indicator just a super simple little voltage based setup so let's take it back to facetime and give it a vape do you want to vape it do you want to vape it all right so easy peasy that is the tesla sparrow now let me get a special guest on here to give this a little try all right guys jessica is back today to try out the tesla sparrow this is like definitely an in-betweener to the things that you've tried. So this is a voltage-based device. It starts at 3.8 volts and you can take it up all the way to 4.8 volts. So we're gonna let you start oh. out at 3.8. It's got a nice little tiny tank on here and it's just a push to start. Cool. It's so cute. I know, right? It's so little. Cute. And it's like great for beginners because it's super simple. Output based. Do you feel like you maybe want a little bit power more powerful? Let's try one more time and I'll tell Cause, you. Because you're used to, by now, the RDA that I've been having you vape on to try flavors. And then the, the more you turn it up, the more power and vapor you're going to get. Yeah, I feel like I could handle it up. Yeah, so why don't you take it up to 4.2 cool. and try it there. See, super simple to adjust the power level. A bit. Yeah, I like it. Is it um, a tighter draw, looser draw? Um, it's kind of a tighter draw that I'm used to, but mm -hmm. that's kind of nice actually. It feels more like a cigarette mm -hmm. to me because there's more of a draw. How's the flavor? Oh, that's good. And you could try and take it up to its maximum power, which is 4.8 volts. 
I like how easy it is to use. It's good for me. Right? Simple yeah. as super simple. Simple as the yeah. click, click, click. Click it and smoke it. And you can also do the in-between levels too, but I just, for this video, just wanted to do the three levels. Okay. Cloud switch. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, so what do you think um, through the, th the three different levels? You like um, the highest one? I or like the, the 4.8. One? Yeah. Yeah, I like the highest one. That's definitely. I'm surprised. That's the most power it'll yeah. kick out to. And then you can also adjust the airflow. Oh, I cool. usually like to have my airflow all the way open, but you can, you can test it out and change it and try it and see. I'll try it with the one. Try it with one? Yeah. That'll, so that'll be really like a tight draw, less oxygen. Weird. I want to try that too. I don't know that Stice, you can adjust it. Mm -hmm. Do most of them do that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. A lot of them do do that little tanks. Cool. Have the adjustable airflow. So would you say you like your airflow all the way open? Yeah. 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 That's, that's usually the popular opinion is all the way open airflow. It's not a very powerful device, but max mm -hmm. power, obviously, it kicks out enough. Yeah, I don't know. That's like perfect. I could hit that all day. <laughs> so could you see like yourself right, using something like this versus the stick battery you tried versus the big boy that you used for flavor testing? Um, I kind of like in the middle. I do like, like in the that? middle. Yeah. It feels powerful enough um, where you get like a lot of the vapor where the like small little, like the little, mm -hmm. yeah, that's tighter. And way more nicotine now. I feel like this would be good for anybody that wasn't sure. Like they didn't know mm -hmm. what kind they want or like what size. Yeah, it's still a good beginner setup, but yeah. um, kind of more, um, not advanced, but definitely towards more advanced because it does have the tank and the little adjustments versus a stick battery. Nice, so do you, do you like that? Like, yeah. could you see yourself using that, trying to use that instead of smoking? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Oh yeah. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. And it's not too big either. Yeah, I don't, I don't like yeah. I like, I like compact, yeah, it's um, like all in ones. But yeah, I definitely prefer like compact yeah. stuff, smaller stuff, because I just don't prefer the big, bulky, heavy mm -hmm. ones. Yeah, I could put it in my pocket if I have Like versus like yeah. this thing. So I'm glad you like that. The thumbs up or thumbs down like your final verdict? Oh, I love this one. Yeah? Yeah. Thumbs up for sure? Yeah, thumbs up. It hits, it's small, it's cute. So do you think we could have you back on the show maybe for an update if you um, are successful with vaping or if you're struggling, like either way, just have you back on the show to tell yeah, people I, how it's going for you? Yeah, I'd love to share my struggles and hopefully it's not too <laughs> big of a struggle. Right, right. So yeah, we'll have yeah. you back on and cool. if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, leave some words of encouragement for Jessica in the comments Thanks. below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. All right, so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. I would love to hear your thoughts on the Tesla Sparrow down in the comments below. You can also check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.